we're in my bathroom. This is new. Today I am going to show you me going through my makeup collection and hopefully getting rid of a lot of it, but since I'm already in my bathroom, I figured I would also show you my skincare, body care, and hair care. They're also related kind of to makeup, so why not? I'm sure I will get questions about it. So here in my bathroom, we're getting this replaced soon because I hate the grout. Um, these three drawers are mine. In the top drawer, I have glasses, hair clips, things that I need to grab really quickly and often. And then in this drawer, which is the largest drawer, I have everything that I wanted to show you first before we get into makeup. So over here, I have all of my skincare items and my contact solution. Here I have my body care items and here I have hair care. So this drawer used to be a lot more packed than it is right now, but I've made myself work through and get rid of a lot of what used to be cramming up the space. Um, so this is what I am down to now. It's my plan to continue using up um, all of these and only repurchasing things that I absolutely love and not sort of fill this space with superfluous items that I don't really need and that probably don't really work. Um, so in addition to using up everything that you see, I also have a strategy to only allow myself to buy doesn't really want to focus, doesn't really matter, trial size items. So I like buying things just like everybody else and I think everybody's always looking for the next thing that will really work for each of us. So I do still buy things but my new rule is to only buy trial sizes of things so I'm not dedicating a ton of space in this drawer to an item or a ton of time to use it up. So use up what you have as long as it doesn't absolutely suck. If it absolutely sucks, throw it out. And then buy trial sizes until you know you love an item. So now on to makeup. You remember these guys from like six years ago? That's how old these are. All right, makeup all out and on the countertop. Actually, a lot of this used to be in my third drawer, which I just realized I didn't talk about. And I just sort of reorganized this. So this now has contacts, some body sprays that I shouldn't have purchased in the first place and I will use up and not repurchase, a barrel brush that I never used, nail polish remover, all of the nail polishes that I own, and my travel toiletry case. So, here it all is. All right, everything is now divided into categories. Over here I have eye stuff, so eyeliners, mascaras, eyeshadows, things like that. Back here I have foundations, powders, and concealers. And then I have a little jar of all very dirty brushes. I just got back from vacation and there was a wedding, so I actually did wear makeup. Um, over here I have all of my lip related things, so some lip stains, lipsticks, I have one lip liner, and then here I have some miscellaneous things, or miscellaneous to me, I don't wear makeup very often, um, some primers, a setting spray, eyelash curler, and a little sharpener. That's everything. Okay, I'm going to go through everything I have in order of items that I wear or use the most to items that I use the least. So starting out first, the things that I use the most are face, skin um, related items. I have three foundations, two liquids and a stick foundation. I have three powders, a bronzer, a translucent, translucent powder and um, a colored powder. This is actually a powdered foundation, so I suppose I could wear it alone, but I usually wear it on top of one of these guys. And then I have two different shades of the same concealer. Um, these concealers and this are actually the trial sizes, um, but a little of this stuff goes a long way, so this will last me forever. This will go bad before I use all of it. Um, I am actually gonna keep everything here, sorry to disappoint, uh, but again, these are the things that I use the most. I would not get very far with those foundations without some of these brushes. So I use this guy all the time, this guy all the time. This is a stippling brush and I don't even own a blush, so I can get rid of that. Um, I have a setting brush I use sometimes for translucent powder. I have two crease brushes and the ferrule is broken on this one and it was like a dollar, so I can get rid of that. And I will keep this one in case I ever decide to wear eyeshadow again. 
And then this one, I'm pretty sure I bought for Halloween one year. I can get rid of it. And this I use very occasionally when I want to wear eyeshadow as eyeliner. So I have five brushes that I'm going to keep and three to get rid of. Next up are eye things. And of all of the eye makeup that I own, I probably wear mascaras the most. I have a couple of trial sizes that I'm going to hang on to. My Volume de Chanel is my favorite mascara ever. Um, this Max Factor fo foundation mascara is very old. I can get rid of that. Um, and then I have a couple of brow products and I think the rest are all liners. And I don't wear those that often, but I'm a sucker. I think I'm gonna keep them. Um, I still enjoy having them. And then eyeshadows, basically never wear, but I think I'm going to keep these two guys. Um, this is a coppery color by MAC, and this is a mineral, almost black, but not quite black, so it's not super heavy um, powder eyeshadow. I'm gonna keep those two guys and get rid of these. This palette I bought for Halloween one year, but it's taken me forever to get rid of it because every time I go to get rid of it, I start trying them on and I'm like, ooh, eyeshadow is so much fun, but I never wear it. And this is a single that I think is gorgeous, but it's super old and I should probably get rid of it. So these will go and these will stay. Now on to lip stuff. So. I have kept a lot of eyeshadows and lip products up until now because every time I go through my makeup, I start trying these things on and I think, these are fun, I don't wanna get rid of them. So this time I haven't reached for any of these since the last time I declared them to be fun and worth keeping. So I'm going to get rid of them now. I have a bunch of lip stains that I've had forever. They're fun, but I never wear them. I have a bunch of baby lips that are ancient, probably purchased around the same time as these guys. I have this line of lips I'm going to keep uh, because it's basically a lip balm, which is all I ever wear anymore. I have, this was a sample from Sephora that's the same color as my lips and you can't see it on my lips, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And then of what I have remaining, all that I'm going to keep are berry colored things because that is what I am a sucker for buying. So if I keep them, then maybe I will not buy more of them. So I have this eyeliner, eyeliner, lip liner. Um, from MAC that goes with Rebel, which is a purple berry color that I'm going to keep. Um, I have this fresh lip stain and this one by Bite that are also berry colors, but these guys, Candy Yum Yum, definitely not a berry color, and a couple of other matte lipsticks that I can get rid of. So these I will keep and these I will get rid of. Finally, I have a couple of miscellaneous items. I have some primers, these two that I got with Sephora points. I have this makeup setting spray that I'm almost out of and it was a trial size. I have this eyelash curler that is ancient and I have a little sharpener that doesn't wanna come out. Um, I am going to keep these and continue to use them up, but I'm not going to um, purchase or get with points or some other way items like this again because I know I just don't use them. Um, the sharpener I'm going to keep because I'm keeping some items that will need to be sharpened, but the eyelash curler I can get rid of. I just wear mascara that works and I don't need these and they take up a lot of space. So these I will get rid of and these I will keep. Here again is everything together. So this is before. So this is after, and no, sorry to disappoint, I'm not down to one foundation and one mascara, which is almost exclusively the only things I wear out of this whenever I do wear makeup, but I am happy with these results. I was able to get rid of a lot of the lip products and eye products that I previously was not able to part with, so I think this is progress and a step in the right direction. I think that's gonna be it for me today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.